Welcome back everybody. My name is Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Live. So today's episode is going to be all over the place really. I'm waiting on a call back from the inspector on how I can sheed the outside. I'm trying to do it in stages whereas typically you do it all at once, get your final inspection and then you're allowed to go ahead and Tyvek it, house wrap it, whatever that is. It's not going to be the case for me working by myself. It's going to take a long time to do it. They're calling for rain every single day on the next 10 day forecast. So I'm wanting permission to do a little bit, house wrap it, do a little bit, house wrap it, protect it, and work my way around. So until I get permission for that, I'm going to either have to one, wait for a really good weather window, and I don't want to delay the project for that, or two, get that permission. But while we're waiting, there's things we can do that I need to knock off the list. All the way from strapping and nailing in joists to uh, putting some nailers for sheetrock on tops of walls and some corner junctions. Also, I need to finish nailing all the flooring up in the roof. There's a, a little bit of trimming I need to do too before I can start putting up my sheathing, hopefully next week, which by the time y'all watch this, it probably are that week. I'm working through the weekend trying to get ready and waiting on that phone call. So I really don't know what we're gonna get into this episode, but people enjoy the house build. We're gonna do house build stuff, that's for sure. I'm gonna bounce around a little bit of everywhere. And what I've been trying to do lately is so miserably hot. I come out early in the mornings, do my attic work, because by 10, 11 o'clock, it's so hot in that attic that I have, to, I have to pull out and go do something else. It's just miserable up there. Then I can come downstairs where I'm getting a little more airflow, do some stuff down here, outside the house, etc. All right, enough talking, let's get to work.
we're done up here today. The attic is nailed off. Except for the new addition, which we'll get to way down the road. I'm burning up. We're going downstairs. I need some airflow. Oh, Lord. Now this is where this little palm nailer shines. So as y'all can tell, 
This video is one over many days. New haircut, different clothes, and I had to knock off a little early yesterday. So let's talk about an accident that I had. Um, kind of scared the crap out of me, just to be perfectly honest with you. This eye is much better today, but was puffy and swollen shut this morning, actually sealed shut, and still burns a little. And I, what really concerned me is I had a fuzzy dot in it all night long. So what happened? Yesterday, I finished lag bolting in those walls, doing some of the stuff that y'all seen, and I have been coming down here treating the lumber. We had 19 inches of rain in a little over two weeks, so mold and mildew build up on the wood was everywhere. I know y'all been seeing that in the background. So in the afternoons, I've been putting on ratty old clothes, no point in recording that, and uh, bleaching, using vinegar. I've used everything under the sun to try to knock some of the mold and mildew back off of the studs. And as y'all can tell, it looks a heck of a lot better. There's some areas like, look up there. I haven't made it up there yet. I gotta get on scaffold. See how that looks? That's how all this looked. Now we're back to absolutely normal looking lumber. Still got a few more areas to treat. Yesterday, I worked this area really hard and I haven't shown it much on camera, but it looked, looked quite bad. It is a night and day difference, but I'm gonna treat it one more time. Even some of the stuff inside, I've started cleaning up. So there is my bottle and I have been using bleach. Yes, I know it's controversial to talk about. People are going to tell me you can't use bleach for mold and everything else. The majority of what I'm seeing in here is green mildew. That's how wet and damp that it's been. Bleach is perfect for that. Some of this is a little bit of mold. I'll start all this by saying I already have biocide coming, the good stuff, like $126 a gallon stuff. Um, somebody brought up a Matt Risinger video of using, uh, what was it, boricide. It's termite and wood and bug treatment really good really highly rated stuff along with a mold compound in it and your wood absorbs that and it's in the lifetime of your house i'm planning on treating the house i've always kind of planning on doing something with that especially in termite red in florida some people are going to say you can't use bleach well i tried vinegar all the way up to 22 percent vinegar and i was going to make a video on it but i figured it'd be so controversial i just didn't want to deal with the headache of comments so i deleted the video that vinegar that I got was so strong, it was acid etching the floor whenever it dipped down there. But guess what? It was not removing any of the mold or mildew at all. The bleach has been doing an excellent job. I know it doesn't get in the wood and all. This isn't an episode about that. I'm going to treat it with really good stuff. That's the reason I'm telling you that. So back to the accident. I'm out here spraying yesterday. I was happening to hit some of these lumbers uh, right here. Believe it or not, they come with mildew on them from the uh, hardware store because it's just been that wet. So I was hitting a little bit of it. It was starting to clean up nicely. I lifted my glasses up. There was a big droplet on a piece of wood up there I didn't see. Perfect time. And as soon as I looked up, the droplet of very highly concentrated bleach, look how yellow it is, or green, right into my eyeball. I panicked, threw my stuff down, tore out the door. I was almost instantly blind. I've been sprayed with pepper spray before in the face. Had to for a job in the past. I know that's crazy, right? That was one of the worst experiences of my life. The bleach yesterday was very similar. I managed to run out there to the water hose, which I just about couldn't find because I couldn't hold my eyes open. It was burning so bad. Flushed my eyes forever and ever and ever to the point they were so stinking raw. I was concerned. Uh, um, here's the other kicker. Tiffany's out of town this weekend and I'm out here working, trying to get the house called up and ready for sheathing. I almost called a friend to take me to the ER. Went inside, I just, I couldn't work the rest of the day. Flushed my eyes out more and more and more. Tried to do some editing last night, that didn't work out too well, couldn't see the computer screen. Went to bed, woke up with my eye actually matted shut, had to get everything off of it, because I guess it was trying to heal itself. And thank the good Lord, I can actually see today. There's still some burning there. I probably should went to the eye doctor, here it is Sunday. Um, but I'm thankful. Long story short, be careful. Wear your PPE. That's probably not the last accident I'm gonna have out here. And here's the thing, I was wearing my glasses. I was covered in so much sweat. It was one of those, just got done spraying. Took your glasses off. Happened to look up, perfect timing. Drop hits me right in the eye. Panic, freaked. So I thought y'all might enjoy that story. Might as well share the good and the bad out here, right? And maybe it might convince some of y'all, wear your glasses, wear your PPE. I need to do a better job myself, no doubt about that. So what are we gonna do now after all that talking? <laughs> I think before I get back to doing some more bleaching, which needs to be done with glasses on, by the way, 
think we should get up here and finish putting in some of the plates that tie these 12 inch on center joists that I added for the loft. As you can see, a lot of these already have their plates, but the, every other one I come back and added, I have to put a 24 inch plate in, or plate in, excuse me, per the engineer, so those could never separate, pull apart, and uh, collapse, so to speak. It's gonna hold them together. It requires a specific nail pattern. I also screw them, so uh, it really pulls the boards tight before I nail. So there's quite a bit about to go on right here. So let's check it all out and see if we can get those in. And I believe we are gonna have to use, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to use the palm nailer. Oh well. Now some more talking real quick. I know some people hate the talking. Some people enjoy it. Went to Lowe's yesterday, lumber is dropping. So I thought I'd let y'all know that. I've got some two by fours. They're all, I got them all the way down to $6 now. It's the cheapest I've paid in a long, long time. It's still kind of high. I got a two by eight, 12 footer down there to do this uh, plating with. I only paid $14 for that thing. That's the best price I've seen in a long time too. Dimensional lumber is absolutely dropping. Plywood and OSB, I'm still not seeing it here yet, but a lot of people are telling me across the country it's dropping. Hopefully in the next few weeks we'll see it because I'm sure I'm gonna need some more OSB for the house. I need plywood for my uh, soffit because this is a non-vented house. I don't need vented aluminum soffit, so I'm just gonna put plywood up underneath there, paint it, that way the spray foam doesn't come out. Um, then we still got about two by fours for the stairs. We got about two by fours for the room upstairs. So I still got a decent amount to buy. I need lumber to drop, but I thought I'd share that. Okay, now enough talking, let's get to work.
Well, I think I'm knocking off for the day. It is actually Sunday afternoon. I usually do not ever come out here and work on Sundays, but I was trying to get prepped and ready for the week that's coming to do some sheathing. But again, the weather, 80% chance of rain every single day. It's not looking promising, but there's plenty of other stuff that we have to do around here. So I can't even remember what all we did in this episode because it was over a few days. I know we snapped chalk lines. We got all the attic subfloor nailed completely down to all the new joists. That was awesome. Glad we got that off the list. Uh, what else did we do? Bolted in the short stub walls, lag bolted those in. Those are good to go now, ready for sheathing. Let's see, we come downstairs, toe nailed all the new joists in, put the tie plates on them that holds them together. I know there's gonna be a lot of questions for that. I'm doing what the engineered plan said. I know most people kind of scissor and cross them. That's not what my plan's called for. I even asked about it. So got the tie plates in, got them screwed, nailed, got all the hurricane scraps here on the other side of the wall and every single joist hurricane strapped in here too. Again, I don't know why, no uplift, but we're building a strong house, so it is what it is. Oh, geez, I've been doing a little bleaching and treating, trying to clean everything up to get ready. Probably, I might do a tad little bit more of that this afternoon, but I gotta go get ready. We got a live stream coming up here in just a minute. If you're new to the channel, every single Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll do a live stream, normally on a Sunday morning, Saturday afternoon. I'll uh, put the little live stream out. If you're not getting notifications or would like to, down at the uh, bottom right beneath the video where it says click on subscribe hopefully you've done that there's some little a uh, little bell icon right beside that if you click on it and click all notifications anytime i post something from a picture on the community tab to a new video to a live stream it'll notify you if you have the app and uh, say hey the kelly's just posted something so do that for us don't forget to hit the little thumbs up thank y'all so much to all the new subscribers the channel's still growing awesome we truly do appreciate it yes i'm working on the house have been every day no i'm not playing ice machine man every day i keep getting those comments the house is still going on this week i don't know what to tell you i'm supposed to start sheathing the weather's telling me that's probably not going to happen we could start on some out here on the porch but i've still got a lot more stuff to do inside the house too and I have something I need to finish out in my shop. I'll record that too. Catch you on the next video.